That sound you're hearing behind me is water hammer. Water hammer is a phenomenon that we can encounter in many different situations in a steam system and it can actually be quite dangerous. So we want to be aware of it, what causes it, and how we can prevent it. Water hammer occurs anytime we've got a mix of cold water in a line and steam. Um, that can happen when a line is not in use and we valve in the steam, or it can happen when we're blowing down uh, the low water cutoff or bottom blowdown on a boiler. Um, and we can prevent it by ensuring that we get ample time for a line to warm up before we uh, apply uh, high pressure steam. And we're going to show an example in some glass pipe here to, to really in, illustrate what's happening inside that pipe when it occurs. This glass pipe is actually completely flooded with water that's actually cold to the touch. So when we've got flooded piping like this, it's a perfect scenario for water hammer. So I'm going to introduce steam to this piping and we're going to see what the results are. What we're seeing here is the introduction of steam to this cold pipe. Um, anytime we allow that steam to flow into a cool area, we've got a potential for hammer. And so we'll watch this as it occurs. So what we're seeing here are shock waves generated by the absorption of the heat by the steam and the basic implosion of the water into that space. So it's actually the water refilling the space displaced by the steam that's causing the hammer sound. And we can do that, we can recreate that again one level lower. One of the most dangerous places that steam hammer can occur is in steam piping, especially in a header. Uh, because of the large internal volume, a massive amount of energy can be released when we have hammer occurring. So to prevent that, we use proper piping and trapping on a steam header. Here we have what we call a drip leg. The drip leg provides a low point for a condensate or water in the header to occur and the steam trap allows that condensate out and back to the condensate return system. So if we've got an area that's not properly trapped, it can hold a large amount of water and generate a phenomenal amount of force if hammer occurs. Another place that we can have hammer occurring is in piping during the blowdown of the boiler. But we need to blow down the boiler, so there's a way to prevent that from happening. Hammer can occur in our blowdown piping when we're doing our daily low water cutoff test. So the way that we open this valve can protect us from that. The appropriate way to do this blowdown is to first crack this valve in order to allow that steam line to preheat. Once that line's warm, we've eliminated the possibility of hammer and we can open that the rest of the way. Appreciate Jude taking care of the water hammer topic. That was sent in by Russell Paget out of Western State Hospital in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Appreciate you sending that in, Russell. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel and always share those videos for us. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.